Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Black Pink Jenny um, and Jean Cook. So we have that reading people have been asking for, so that's the one we're going to do today. And I've taken out some elements here to make it more simplified for this astrology reading. So we will have the Sun, the Moon, the Rising, the Venus, the Jupiter, the Palace, the Influence, which is the Juno, we have the Fortune, we have the North Node, and Spirit's Advice. So I've kind of simplified it a little bit so we don't have so many cards. So we have Release. So let's see. Usually I do the masculine and then the feminine. So this would be John Cook's, John Cook's um, card here. So maybe needing to release something. And for Jenny, stillness. Okay, so there might be something needing to be thought about here or just maybe just taking a break. I feel like it's something to do with just calming the energy, maybe even meditation here. What's the combined energy? Blessings. Okay. So there might be some blessings coming in. Somebody needs to sit with that, which would be Jenny. And John Cook needs to release something here. Let's get a tarot card here. One for him. And he's abundant and single, it looks like. It looks like he's not with anybody at this time. And if he is, he's meant to release them to become single here. So that could be what this is. So let's look at the blessings here. Now let's look at hers. The stillness for Jenny here. Ah, she's the one getting the blessing. So this is a blessing. So she may be the blessing here. And there's blessings here for for the two of them, so they're meant to have some type of blessing. Okay, so someone may feel like they're maybe not getting that blessing here. They may feel like they're missing out on this blessing with the Four of Cups. Yeah, this is kind of dissatisfying or pouting, maybe not getting what they wanted here or feeling like they're going to miss out on this blessing if they don't do something and that might be this release or taking the time to be still to think about what they want for a blessing and that would be Jenny's energy here let's look at the moon the emotions because the sun is about self so they may realize that they need to be single and that they need to meditate or contemplate something for this blessing to come in, or realization maybe. Maybe that's why she needs to be still. Let's see, what's the moon here? One for him and one for her. Meditate and contemplate, I did say that. So releasing something could be energy could be a person for him. So with the new moon here in Pisces, may have Pisces in his chart. Let's see, and we have a time for healing. That could be why she needs the stillness card here. And I feel like this may be, yeah, healing some type of, maybe has to do with love. Healing some type of love thing here. Or they're going to miss out on some blessing or they don't want to miss out on a blessing here. What's on the bottom of the deck? Surrender to the divine. Full moon. <laughs> so there needs to be some type of surrender here. Um, not trying to control the situation. What about for him? King of Cups. So he's very um, emotionally balanced, I'm feeling. In that love aspect, that love energy, maybe being compassionate towards himself about what he's needing to release to be in that Nine of Pentacles energy. And with the Nine of Pentacles, that's like 
um, financial independence, material security. I kind of feel like rewards through is hard work, you know? Status and success, wealth. It's all about wealth and being good with who he is, being very abundant. And with the Ace of Cups, this is like a new relationship, compassion towards each other. It's a blessing, emotional awakening. Let's see about her emotions here. Yeah, she's needing to put up boundaries. So she might be doing so right now. Learn That might be why she needs to be still here and kind of surrender to the divine. Her card said, what did her card say here for her emotions again? Yeah, time for healing. So she's needing to heal something here. Has it having to do with boundaries, maybe giving too much of herself. Let's get a card for Surrender the Divine. Yeah, there, there might be a coldness towards one another, um, possibly because of a situation before. Maybe it's time to release this negativity towards one another or this standoffish type of I, I'm almost feeling like um, <laughs> not wanting to it's like denial denying denying how they may feel about each other I feel like he's more into her than she is into him she might be the cold one here when it comes to this. Or they're just not going to go down that road. Let's see here. What about their rising sign here? What, tell me about their rising sign here. For him? The moonstone star, passion. I am entering a portal of Aphoric love and we see that here in his king of cups here and what about her the awakener rise out of the ashes I rise like the golden sun so I feel like this has to do with um, awakening uh, doing her awakening to what the highest frequency means when it comes to love having the boundaries in place to have that self-respect, that self-love. I'm really liking this. What's on the bottom of the deck for these two? Mother of the sea, goddess, I surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean. So going with the flow on something here together. This may be to do with a something they're meant to kind of do together, maybe collaborate in some way let's see for him yeah he'll get a victory of something here for her yeah she's planting new seeds here and what about their combined energy here <laughs> yeah they might be kind of competing against one another possibly this might have to do with this collaboration here Maybe fighting each other's energy. I kind of feel like there's not so much hostility towards one another, but more of a, um, I'm kind of getting, uh, not play acting, but maybe some conflicting opinions here or too many choices. There's some type of struggle between the two here. Let's see what their luck is. Actually, I'm going to get one other card. Why is the Five of Wands here? Let's get a... I'm just going to go like this and see what comes out. Five of Wands, please. Why is the Five of Wands here? Okay. Ah. There's some type of justice about somebody walking away from the other. Now, this may have been because there was no balance between this. Now there's maybe some balance coming in to balance this energy out here. Okay, so this may have to do with walking away from a relationship or not wanting a denial of a relationship here between the two of them. There's some type of denial. I'm feeling denial, denial, denial. Okay, so what's their Jupiter here for him? 
For him, he's a man holding a coin with a number seven. And the number seven is reflecting, assessing, knowledge, spirituality. Now, this may be to do with reflecting on what happened between the two of them. Maybe an offer of making money together in some way or a collaboration. Let's see, what about her? Tell me about her. What's her energy here? Angel of Strength. Yeah, she does have a lot of strength. There's some change here, some instability or conflict. So they may have some type of complete competing energy or a conflicting energy with that Five of Wands that came out. Having to deal with somebody walking away from the other. There's some maybe karma here or some balance needing to be had here. And they're, ah, the temple path. So they may have something they're meant to do together here. Uh, creativity, a group or growth. This may have to do with their, what they do for a living here. Through song. Three, so this has to do with creativity, groups, and growth. This may be about growth between the two of what they learned about themselves pertaining to this relationship they were in with together. Um, whether it was thought of, maybe one thought of the other as a player. I'm kind of picking that up on her side could be on his side too so it's let's see about him for luck here mm. yeah he might be crying over this um be upset about this mishap between the two she's very strong in her opinions and she may be fighting this quite strongly whereas he's wanting to make an offer here maybe to go down this path let's see yeah, there's an offer. So there might be someone offered and someone didn't take the offer. Could be he offered and she denied it. So he's not the one feeling great about that. Let's see, what's the temple path here? The page of wands. Okay, so with the page of wands, we're looking at something that's this is enthusiasm okay this is positive new opportunities inspiration I'm kind of feeling with this this is about a loyal friend here courage or news of some sort here maybe it has to do with this path there might be some news about this. Perhaps. Let's get another card on. What's this luck here? Ah, there's a blessing coming in to do with financial blessing. And it might have to do with maybe them doing a song together. The Ace of Pentacles. So I'm kind of getting with that. This has this having to do with their financial career. This is having to do with a path being clear here with the temple path. This is having to do with being resourceful or some type of manifestation here, some type of abundance, some type of blessing. This is something that's coming from the divine when it comes to their financial opportunities. What is this Five of Cups for him, for his luck? Oh, <laughs> this may have had to do with love. With the lovers here, a divine union between these two. And what about her? Oh, see, the sun. There may have been something that came to light. Or she's denying her own happiness when it comes to a love between these two. There's a denial here about what's going on. Let's look at their relationships, their palace here. What is their palace here for him? Whoa, okay, that's a lot, Spirit. I'm not taking all of those. I'm going to put them back. None of them uh, turned over. 
So can I just get one card? Oh, hell no. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got some that turned over. We're going to have to take them. And this is for him. Wow, this could be the one honeymoon and make the effort. Holy hell. Okay, so <laughs> that's on his side. What about her? What about her side? Tell me about her. Okay, we do have one card that wanted to come out. <gasps> Wedding. Oh my goodness. Wow. And what is their combined them? Getting to know one another. So holy crap. Okay, so this is a relationship. And I'm feeling like if they take this blessing, I've got blessing here and a blessing here, and we have blessings in the middle here. Someone does not want to miss out on a blessing. When it comes to these two, someone needs to release something or someone to become single because this is my single card. Stillness having to do with love. Maybe she needs to realize this denial about this love, putting boundaries in place. Wow, there's a lot. This is, he feels like she could be the one, a honeymoon and making the effort and then wedding on her side. I mean, let's get a tarot card for each of them. Tell me about his side for Jean Cook. This could be the one. I feel like he may feel that way and it might be on her side. Yeah, look at that. Page of Cups. So this could be somebody, He he's kind of young at heart, okay? That innocence about him. There might be some happy news. There's kindness here. Creativity. Creative opportunities. Emotional insight of some sort here for his side. So he may have already contemplated this. And what about her side? What about the wedding for her side? Why is wedding here for her side? Ah. From the past. There may have been somebody she was going to marry. Someone from her past. That might be the reason this isn't coming together. Tell me about getting to know each other. Give me a card for that. Hmm. Well, satisfying here. This is nine of cups. This is nine out of ten cups here. This, <laughs> this is uh, pretty significant. I mean, this is fulfillment. This is wishes fulfilled. Achievement, sense of well-being here, contentment and success. Getting to know one another. Hmm. Tell me about, well, let's do the love first. And I can always ask that question after. So love, tell me about the Venus, the love how they love. Tell me about him. Tell me about John Cook when it comes to Jenny. Ah, there's a lot of passion here. Can insane or no instant chemistry like each other equally and having fun. Now that is on his side. And tell me about her, how she feels about John Cook here. How does Jenny feel about John Cook? Whoa. The butterfly. Relationship evolving. In the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So she may be growing up a bit or gone through some life lessons. And this may be a different side of things that she's seeing now. When it comes to him, tell me another card for Jenny and the butterfly here. Tell me about Jenny and the butterfly, please, Spirit. Tell me about the butterfly for Jenny. Okay, I'll just choose one. The chaser. Uh -huh. So he may be chasing her, or now she may be chasing him. 
she may have abandonment issues due to maybe she was meant to marry somebody from the past and perhaps that didn't work out and maybe she was codependent or fear of abandonment because of this relationship here that happened perhaps she really fell hard for somebody from the past they may she may still be hanging out to this person there's a chaser here she may be chasing this other person or they may be chasing her but there's the butterfly here this is this is evolution here she's this is transformation what's on the bottom of the deck time with friends moving on so she may be letting this person go now happily single living in the moment having fun he's having fun with this having fun on the bottom here insane or instant chemistry like each other equally and having fun having fun happily single moving on living in the moment this is something going on here all right oops i don't want to mess up what i got going on here okay so we got passion we have the butterfly for her and what was the other one the chaser right okay so we'll just kind of show those there okay all right <laughs> now these two go with these here all right let's look at what do we get for a tarot card what's for passion for john cook please for passion for john cook ah the passion card or what <laughs> Ace of Wands, there's definitely no denying here. This is all about passion. This is an action on that passion. This is progress. This is initiation, like initiating this passion. This is creativity, family impact. This, this is a birth of something new here. Wow beautiful for love and what about her how about jenny tell me about jenny here for her venus wow look at that an offer she may be getting an offer here <laughs> okay so tell me about the girl talk then oh yeah okay so somebody here is a queen of wands the confident determined self-assured taking action so wow this could be him getting into his feminine feminine side making that offer give me another card for this combined energy between these two a combined energy between jenny and john cook wow we have the king of wands and the queen of wands what wow okay so somehow this denial between the two of them here this may change somebody doesn't want to miss this opportunity this blessing here wow okay now that we've got that out of the way and maybe there's no denying there's a connection here somebody's got their boundaries up or they're maybe feeling he may be feeling she's unapproachable or was unapproachable this may be an emotion here but he's full of love and she's got her boundaries up but there's no denying there's a connection here so let's have a look here at the influences now this could be inside their head or outside in their family could be friends these could be influences from outside forces could be fans could be whatever it could be to do with work their career whatever influences they're getting for him the fates so he may feel like this is fated or someone is saying look at follow your heart this may be fated this is number eight mastery action go after what you want okay a resolution maybe talking it through trying to resolve something what about her 
Oh, soulmate. She may feel he's a soulmate. But does she... Is it about love, though? Somebody might be saying, he's your soulmate. He's your soulmate. This is five. This is change, though. So she might have some conflicting energy when it comes to this change. And that's kind of what I'm feeling here. What about their combined energy? Oh, there's serendipity here. This is about luckiness. This is about fruition, attainment, fulfillment with the number nine. Wow. Let's get a card on this. So people are telling them that they're soulmates. She may be conflicted on this. But this is a lucky connection. This is spirit here with the blessing. Bless. We got three aces out here. Three of the aces, three, the ace of pentacles, the ace of wands, and the ace of cups. Am I missing any? I don't think so. Wow. And the sun, and the lovers, <laughs> and justice, and the six of wands, and the nine of cups, and the nine of pentacles. Holy hell. What's the fates here for him? What's the fate card here? Can you give me a card for the fate card? For John Cook? Okay, let's pull one out. All right, look at that. The Hierophant, holy hell. So this is spirit coming in here with the fates. This is spirits guiding here. Okay, what about the soulmates for her side, for Jenny? What's the soulmates for Jenny here? Why is the soulmates here? <gasps> Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> this is happy, happy, happy family. This is, wow. This is like family legacy, making a legacy together. This could be family wealth. This is all about family though. Family, family, family is kind of what I'm getting here. Family life, family wealth family property, strong foundation, gain through traditions, emotional harmony here. This is holy. This is the whole enchilada. <laughs> this is the whole thing here. When it comes to these two, this could be really great happiness here, but I'm really feeling somebody's fighting this. Even though we have that for her. Now, was that the soulmate's card that I was doing? I think that was hers. Wow. So she knows she's. this would be a good match, so I don't get it. Why is she conflicted here? What's the serendipity? Give me the serendipity. Oh, we got a twofer. Ah, a wounded warrior and watching. So I kind of feel like he may be the one wounded that she didn't accept his offer at some point here because he was crying about it over there. He, he really felt down on his luck about that. And Page of Swords is watching and um, I kind of feel like that curiosity here maybe getting, trying to communicate or wanting to communicate, maybe getting some information about this, maybe trying to feel out how she feels about him. Wow. So let's look at the wealth, the fortune, the fortune for him, emotions and family changes. Yeah, I feel like he may be thinking about family now, maybe having a family of his own. And the emotions that are running through him is that he might be looking at potential suitors. He may be thinking about who he would be best matched with here. Let's see, what do we have for her? For Jenny, what do we have for Jenny? We have changing your mind. Are you serious? Are you guys looking at this? Changing your mind. So she might be changing her mind about this whole situation. She might be coming around to this. Let's see. Sobriety. So 
she may see him as an addiction. Like she may be, or he may be obsessed with her more. I'm feeling a little bit of a obsession here. Could be some type of, you know, I'm not really feeling drinking or drugs. I'm, I'm feeling more like it's an obsession now. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Passionate re riding after her. This is, I feel like, um, this is all to do with that, um, positive and enthusiasm being, uh, acts on chance. I feel like that a new opportunity here. He's feeling like he might have a, a chance with her now. What's this changing her mind? <gasps> Four of wands. What? Four of wands is all about, um, happy home life, harmony. Love is in the air. What? <laughs> and that's on her side. What's the sobriety? Oh, there's an ending to something here. Now, this could have been to do with this other person that wanted to marry her. I kind of feel like it's on her side. She may, she's changed her mind. So she may have ended some type of thoughts about somebody from her past. She may, this may have been somebody they may have had a relationship at one point where she walked away from him and I feel like whatever past hurt happened here they may have even talked about marriage at one point she may be putting an end to this this thought it may have been like an obsession that was going over in her head overthinking about this he's gonna hurt me he's gonna hurt me he's gonna hurt me again Maybe that's the denial here. Not wanting to deny the feelings because she's afraid there's some fear here. But that's kind of changed now. She's thinking about the Four of Wands, family life. He's chasing her here. Let's look at the North Node, the current life right now. What's her current, his current life? Wow, there's some concern here. Maybe she's, he's worried she's not going to take the offer. What's this? This one wanted to come to an official person. So he may be looking at concern and an official person. Can you give me another card? Well, let's get a tarot card. Let's do her side first here. What about her? What about Jenny? What is her current life right now? Jenny's side. Thief. Okay. So this may be something to do with her. She may have a thief in her energy here. There might be con concern on his side to call the police or something because of some type of thief here. What's on the bottom of the deck? <gasps> a false person. Okay. So there's some concern. I feel like this is not their energy i feel like this is he's concerned about a thief or a false person here and wants to call the police on something when it has something to do with her and it's not her that's the thief or the false person he's worried about her getting taken getting taken for some money or getting ripped off like some type of theft towards her Somebody's going to do something to her, and he wants to call an official person, which to me is like the police or an investigator, or maybe that's why he's watching her. What is this concern here, an official person? What is he concerned about when it comes to Jenny? What is he concerned about? Hmm, some type of decision maybe that she made. What about Jenny? Tell me about Jenny and this thief. Ah, she's the queen of pentacles. Okay, I get it. So he's concerned. Maybe it has something to do with a past person that wanted to. Oh, I see. I get it now. I'm seeing now, spirit. Thank you. I, I understand what this is now. 
Okay, so he's concerned she might marry someone from the past here. She may have changed her mind about this person. He's concerned because this thief that wants to marry her may want her money. And they're coming up as a false person. So I'm feeling like this is their energies... He's worried she's going to make the wrong decision when it comes to this theft, this thief, this false person that is from the past here. I'm, 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 I'm totally understanding now what this is about. He may be trying to tell her that the right match is with me, with him, okay? He might be telling her that the right match is with him, not with this other person from the past that she needs to make the right decision or he's concerned about the right yeah right decision about calling the police about this thief that may be wanting to take her money because she is the queen of pentacles she's very financially stable she's um resourceful material success She's financially a financial provider. Maybe this person is taking uh, advantage of her. She may be changing her mind about John Cook here. What's this false person? Yeah, walking away from this false person. I can't make it up. He doesn't want her to be with whoever this false person is, this thief. They're there for her money. He's worried that she's going to make a decision here. Maybe to go back with this false person in her relationship, the one that wants to marry her. This person from the past may come back to her, telling her that he wants to marry her, but it would be for her money. And John Cook is concerned about this, wanting to call the police about this person, hoping the decision she makes is to leave. And she is. She's changed her mind about this person. She's putting an end to it. Beautiful. So now the question is, do they get together? Let's see what Spirit has to say here for advice. What's the advice for John Cook from Spirit? Spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you're ready to soar. So he's not meant to hold back right now. He's meant to go forward with this. Now what about her? What about Jenny? What is her advice when it comes to John Cook? There's something going on here. The Queen and King of, of Wands, we have three aces out of all four here okay and wow this is amazing this is amazing somebody's getting karma for for some walking away from somebody here wow indigo and crystal children so archangel metatron you have a bond with children in particular you can help children who are sensitive so she may be somebody that is very sensitive and empath here and she, that might be something she does or she's very good at is having that energy when it comes to children i'm feeling she's more of a crystal child than an indigo indigo children are from the 1970s and 80s up until the 90s and then crystal children are from the 1990s when you're when they were born 1990s to the 2000s and then we have rainbow children from 2000s past and up and they haven't they're not they're new souls they um i feel like the rainbow children um the indigo children aren't are maybe not getting a whole lot of karma. Uh, I feel like it's more the indigo children are the ones that are really going through it for their future generations not to have to. They're kind of trying to end whatever um, type of uh, 
curses or anything that's happened in their lineage. I feel like the indigo children are the ones who are putting an end to that. They're ending that, um, that situation in their lineage and they're ending it. And the crystal children, these children here, they are, they're more in tune with spirituality. And now the rainbow children are even more in tune to, for spirituality. Okay. And I feel like they know that having spirit is going to help them live their best life. So she may be a crystal child. I feel like she's in between 20 and 30, maybe, yeah, closer to 30s are crystal children if they were born in the 1990s to the 2000s. So what's on the bottom of the deck here? Peace between the two. So they're meant to have a peaceful resolution or having peace between them. Archangel Chamel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So, wow, that's so beautiful. Let's get spread your wings for Jean Cook. What's Jean Cook here? Wow, move forward or what? Wow, spread your wings and move forward. And that's what Spirit is telling Jean Cook here. This is Spirit's advice. And what about her? I feel like she's a crystal child. We have two here, and I'm going to take them both for her. Ah, having the strength and team player, teammate. Wow. <laughs> I kind of feel like she is very strong-minded, um, perhaps. And let's see, what's, what's their bottom of their deck here? Ah! Capricorn, the devil. This is desire. <laughs> Following their heart's desire here. And I feel like the, things might do a 360 here when it comes to Jenny and John Cook. Like, look at this spread. Like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Holy hell. Like, this is wow amazing spread for these two and I, I did not see this coming because when I did a reading before these two were at odds she was not gonna take him back ever and she's changing her mind that's incredible so these two might have some lessons to learn from each other where this could be something that lasts with all this this may be a turnaround here. She may have had some type of um, spiritual advice to say, look, you need to be still. I want to give you a message about love. You need to open up about this love. Yeah, don't miss this blessing. So we'll see if she misses it or not, I guess. Or if these two end up having this blessing pass them by. Hopefully not, because this is beautiful cards here. Three out of the four aces is incredible. How many blessings are there when it comes to this? The sun, the lovers, the desire with the devil card. This has to do with Capricorn. Maybe they have Capricorn in their chart. Or maybe one is a Capricorn. The other one is a fire. Because they see a lot of wands here and coins. So there's earth and, and fire here. A lot of wands. A couple cups, so there might be water in their chart as well. And the water is... Um, uh, <laughs> um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So, wow. So there's water, earth. I don't see a lot of air here. So, wow, beautiful. So Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have, who else do we have here? We have 
Leo, Aries, and Sag, and then we have the Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So that's what I'm seeing for signs in here. Not a lot of not a lot of air here. Somebody's got air. There's a couple air here, which I guess is all the signs with Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So anyhow, beautiful spread between these two. Things might be changing here, but will they miss this blessing? I guess we'll have to see. Let's see, what kind of, what are we looking at here when it comes to a time frame between these two? What do they have for time here? When will this come together? Four. I had four here. I was going to say four as well. So maybe four months, four weeks, four days. I guess we'll see. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you like the reading, please give me that thumbs up that you like it and uh, share. And don't forget to, you know, like, share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you want to donate, there have been some requests on how to donate. You can uh, do the super thanks or you can, uh, by the way, I did get um I saw the super thanks, so thank you to those who have done the super thanks. And then we also have the PayPal account in the description box that you can click on. It'll take you to PayPal and you can pay that way. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. So yeah, we'll see you guys next time. All right, later.